welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look 10 signs that they are a narcissist 10 signs that you are dealing with a narcissist first off what is a narcissist too much <laughs> that's what they is they too much narcissists they have a personality disorder it's a personality trait these people are far from normal they say we all got a little bit in us but these people they're just blank blatant with it like they just they're very extreme they're very over the top with they stuff like the ways in which they move is like you can't be you can't be human like who are you so look i got my notes um because i want to make sure i touch on each 10 of these signs and it's raining outside y'all so y'all might hear some thunder but look we're gonna get right into it the first sign is that these people are super jealous they're super jealous it doesn't matter if they are your friend it doesn't matter if they your family it doesn't matter if you are in a relationship with them they're super jealous. They don't like to see you thrive in relationship with in relationships with other people. If you're in a relationship with them, they don't like for you to have friends. You may notice that they every friend that you get got to be their friend too, or um, like they just they want to kind of keep you at home, keep you isolated, so that people don't like you, that people aren't admired by you. They're very competitive even in a romantic relationship they're very competitive they may try to downplay you like i had someone they used to say little slick stuff like and it was like very like bullyish type energy very teasy type energy and i didn't realize it i didn't realize it that's another thing like you may not realize it it's very hard to see when you end it you may just like turn a blind eye you may just be like i don't know like these people they 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 they're really good at what they do so they really give off that copycat type of energy monkey see monkey do type person like they really want to be like you and others around them because they don't know who they are because they don't know who they want to be because they lack that self-love they lack love for other people they don't know they just want to be like whoever is in front of them whoever that they think is better than them they want to be like you and they want to outshine you so my second sign is that they are addicted to emotional chaos these people are very explosive they are over the top with their stuff like very explosive if it's not chaotic they don't want it they don't like to see people thrive even themselves they don't like to be in healthy situations like they don't like to have healthy relationships around them they don't like that it's always it's just something always got to be wrong with these people <laughs> something always got to be wrong and this causes them to lack empathy like it's like because they they don't like that they don't want to see you happy so why would they if things are getting chaotic why would they be empathetic about it they thrive off of that they don't no they don't want to see the situation good they don't like their environments to be good it needs to be a little chaotic for them to thrive and survive so my third sign is, uh, this is a huge one for me. They're very manipulative, very obvious. It's not obvious though, because when you're being the one manipulated, it's very hard to tell. But if you really step back and you really observe and you look, these people, they're very manipulative and they're very good at what they do. They know how to like get people so good, their wording. The, the ways in which they move like they're very good actors like they they they're very good at manipulating so they know exactly what to say they know exactly how to move they know when to move and for some people they've been manipulating the, them for a long time so it's like they already know what to expect they already know how you're going to react and they use that to their advantage to manipulate you and to control you they want to be in control if they don't have control they don't have darn near nothing like they need that control to feel powerful because they don't have much going on for themselves so this is the way that they feel powerful by manipulating and controlling you seeing that they can have somebody like 
do what they do what they want to do. Like they can have somebody as they little they little puppy, like they little puppy dog. <laughs> My fourth sign is sense of entitlement. These people feel so entitled. They feel so entitled. They feel like if it's yours, it's ours. They feel like if I'm involved, like if I'm because of who they are, that they're entitled to things being a certain way or they're entitled to have all access to you and everyone else. Like they're entitled to do whatever it is that they want to do. They want to do whatever they want to do, and they don't need people to question them. They don't like people to question them. They don't like people to go against that. They're very entitled. Oh, shoot. How did I go here? So we don't skip that. Because um, my fifth sign, I didn't even write down my fifth sign. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, number six. Okay, we're going to. Okay, let's just go. We're going to say this number five. They turn. They know how to turn on that charm. Like these people, when you meet them, they seem like very admirable. Like they're very like it's easy for people to like them. It's easy for people to be attracted to them. But what they're doing in the beginning is they're love bombing people. Wow, that just clicked in my head. Like okay, that's exactly what they were doing because I've been trying to figure this person out for a while, and I just figured out that one person. Like I figured out a couple other narcissists in my life. But I just figured out one person is a narcissist. And I was trying to figure out, like, what was that? Why, why would they move like that? Like, that don't even make sense. Now it all makes sense. They were love bombing me. <laughs> These people are very good at love bombing. They're going to show you that they care. They're going to be very admirable. Like, they're going to they're gonna really make you think that they are, like, a really good person. And deep down the side, it's all strategic. It's all strategy. It's always a hidden agenda with these people. They're never genuine. They're never genuine. It's always a hidden agenda as to why they're doing what they're doing, why they're going here, why they're moving like this, why they called this person. It's just always something. Why they became friends with this person. It's always something with these people. It's a, it's always a hidden agenda. They, they love to love bomb. They'll make you think that they're the perfect person. They'll feed you lies. They'll tell you that they love you and they don't because they don't even love themselves. So how could they love you? They're very good at what they do. They just, they, they really are. Um, number six. Oh, that just takes me into number six. They don't know how to love. <laughs> they don't know how to love. It's all fake. They're very fake. They're very fake and they're very good at acting. They may tell you that they love you. They may show you that they love you. But their action says, other words, when you when you see what they doing on the low, when you figure out who they is on the low, like then you'll know. Um, number seven, they need admiration. These people, because they lack that self love, they need admiration. They need the validation from the outside world. They need people like they thrive off of that. They need the people to tell them how good they look. They need people to tell them that they're doing the right thing. They need people to reinsure them they need that they don't know how to give it to themselves they've they never really get it naturally so they kind of like pull it up out of people they try to kind of force it about of people they kind of just do things so that people can give it to them because they need that to 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 survive and because they need so much attention a lot of times these people in a romantic relationship they're cheaters they're cheaters and they're very, like I said, they're very good at what they do. So you may never know. <laughs> you may never know till later. You may never know. Like, and that's crazy because that just takes me back to that first, that, that one narcissist I was dealing with is like, they had me so good and I wasn't even in a romantic relationship with them. But if opportunity presented itself, they, I mean, I'm not going to even say that. I'm not going to go there, but look. They straight up cheated on their person, okay? They straight up cheated on their person. And I seen it. I seen it firsthand. So imagine what I didn't see. And I was still willing to entertain this person just like as a friend. But look, that's just a whole nother story. We ain't going to get into my stories, okay? <laughs> not today. We're not going to get into my stories today. They cheaters. Like, they're very sneaky. They're very sneaky. So if you ever got a chance to go into their 
phone or go into there. And I hope that you're not that person. Like, I hope that you would just walk away. But if you ever got a chance to see what it is that they really doing, oh, it's a whole lot that you don't know about on top of the stuff that you do know about. So look, number, these numbers always throw me off on top of the fact that I forgot one. So look, so we know number, we're number eight. They don't respect boundaries. These people do not like to hear no. They do not like to hear you can't do that. They don't like to hear don't move like that with me. They don't like that. They want to do what it is that they want to do. So the moment that you set boundaries, it causes them to, it causes strife, okay? It causes them to become upset. It causes them to become angry. It causes them to go in that circle. They got like this, 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 this wheel and they go in that circle and now they're back to the manipulation and blaming you and making you feel bad for their actions and the decisions that they've made because you set a boundary. Because you like, because you have some type of sense of self and what you want, and you have a sense of worth, and they don't. You set a boundary with them, and they feel like they should just have all access to whatever it is that they want, whatever it is that's in front of them. They should be able to touch it. They should be able to do it. They should be able to be it. They should be like, when it comes to you, it doesn't matter. When it comes to your possessions, it don't matter. They feel like they should be able to do what it is that they want. They do not respect boundaries, no matter if they tell you that they will or not they won't they won't they'll sneak they'll hide they'll manipulate they'll do it behind your back but they will not respect your boundary so number nine um that they don't change they don't change no matter what they are still going to be themselves you may have conversation after conversation you may not even have a conversation, but you may, like I said, set that boundary. You may tell them what it is. It's not going to change the fact that they're going to do what they want to do. Excuse the dog, y'all. But y'all know I'm not cutting this video off, so I hope they be quiet. Look, that does not change the fact that they're going to do what it is that they want to do regardless. They will not change. So if you're waiting, on the, waiting around for them to change, just know that it's not going to happen. And I will just make this um, number 10 that... These people may cause you to become stressed. They may cause you to become depressed. Um, they may change your world. <laughs> they may really change your world. And I could say on one end, it could be for a positive, ex a positive experience because now you know. Now you know how to spot such type of person out. But look, they're going to really come in. They're going to change your world. They're going to, because they're going to devalue you, they're going to like, they're going to make you question your self-worth. They're going to make you question your self-love because of all of the stuff that you put up with. And they're going to blame you for it all. They're going to blame you for it all. So if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so. Because these people, they're a different breed of people and... I understand like people need support and you may have been in it. Let me know like you, if you've dealt with uh, such type of narcissist, there's different type of narciss narcissists. I'm not going to get deep into it because I don't even know all the kinds. Um, quite honestly, I don't even care to know. I just know that they are who they are and they're really not good people. They're just really not good people on the inside. They're not good people at all. Like they're not because they wear this mask and, People are blind to it. They're, they wear this mask and they're so good at what they do that people don't even know who they are for real. Until you really know, you don't know. So when people find out, some people, they have the option. They're not that close with them. They're not that invested with them that it's easy to walk away. But if you're deep in with the narcissist, it's very hard to walk away. I see it. I see it. I know people who's like, I, I see it from the outside in with multiple people that's stuck in a narcissistic relationship, whether that is a romantic a friendship or just family members or just, you know, like people that they know. So if like, I don't know, if you need support, comment down in the uh, in the 
comment section and maybe someone will have advice for you. I hope that someone will have something for you. But that is all I have for this video. If you're not a member on this channel already, I do invite you to become a member because we lit over on the membership side. If you don't already have Chime, what you waiting on, click that link down in the description box and get your free $100 just by signing up uh, with your direct deposit. Like, sign up, get the $100 and do whatever you want to do. There's no cost none whatsoever it's a mobile banking app okay y'all i absolutely love it that's all i got for this video stay spiritually you stay spiritually in tune and i'll see y'all on the next one peace